Hey Legionnaires, welcome back, we're here with another hike and shot battle for you today and this one is already hossing up from literally minute one. We have already got some Dragoons here from the French setting up and they look like they are going to be uh, taking on some Croatian Harkonnens as they uh, do here. This is the Battle of the Troy, which is a uh, battle fought in uh, 1643 between the Spanish and the French part of the uh, 30 years war and there you go you can see the mercy troops just about surviving as the Croatian Harkavis here is there uh, charge in and uh, try to rout those guys there they did manage to uh, force one of these uh, mercy troops units to become a infantry and their cav uh, like they, their horses uh, have run away but uh, yes this was uh, nor I wouldn't say a great use of resources here, but yes, today on uh, Pike and Shot Total War, we do have a historical battle. We have the Battle of Rocroy, uh, fought, like I said, between, uh, in 1643 between the French and the Spanish. Uh, it was historically a French victory. We'll see whether that is the case here again today. I'm very excited to see how this one goes down. A pretty big battle. Mo both sides have nearly around about so well. The French have more like towards 20,000. You have about 23,000 troops, and the uh, Spanish have 27,000. Uh, troops uh, to offer here today. I wouldn't be surprised if both sides have some, something similar to that because uh, I mean in pike and shot armies are often like four to five thousand men each in size so yeah they are big big armies. It was a decisive French victory. They, they lost around about four thousand uh, men while the Spanish took around about fifteen thousand casualties. It's pretty incredible stuff and uh, yeah I'm really looking forward to seeing how this one goes down. It's been a little bit while since we've done a pike and shot historical battle um, but yeah, it'll be certainly fun to be back in the action. And yeah, I mean, some really strong factions. I didn't realize both sides have Croatian Harkavisiers available. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's kind of interesting. I don't know really the law behind that, but uh, I guess maybe both had a, like sort of like mercenary Croatians available to them in their rosters. I don't really know. Uh, but we are using uh, 1640 uh, France and 1640 Spain. Um, so yeah, that's like literally three years before uh, the actual Battle of Recroy. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this one goes. If you guys are enjoying seeing the Pike and Shot content as well, I want to see more. Do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment show your support, guys. It really does help out the channel as we work towards, I guess, 11k subs. Um, but yeah, it looks like the Spanish are slowly moving forward. Um, I'm going to make a quick cut here because I imagine now both sides are going to take their merry old time and march on forward. Um, I saw that that little uh, like sort of skirmish right at the beginning could get interesting and spicy, so I thought I'd show it off and see what happened. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a moment once it spices up once again. So we have returned, and yes, the French chilliers over here have already started to get uh, a few shots off against some of the lands that's here. Seems like Spain's right flank is really pushing on hard, and France is ready to counter it. They got their skirmishes, they got their stakes. They are ready to stop any sort of shenanigans there when it comes to a cav charge. And the French and the Spanish both have a really good cav. I mean, we've got Kirasias here already moving forward. Looks like these guys are maybe going to just try and get some volleys off, maybe with their um, with their pistols before they maybe give it a, tra a charge. I don't think it's worth it. I mean, has the Spanish player not realized the stakes? Quite possible it's not. No, he is just getting point blank range. Let's see who gets their shots off first. Uh, I imagine it's going to be the uh, Kirasias. There we go. The occasional Trillia dropping, but yeah, nothing too crazy. Yeah, I mean, literally, like, these guys lost two. But they are uh, orange lining, so that is the main thing. In my control, it's not about killing a unit, it's about routing a unit, which can, obviously can take many different forms. Um, but yeah, nothing really was missed. Um, that uh, creation, Harkavisia, returned, but uh, again, just got routed almost immediately by the uh, the Dragoons. Even easier the second time round. And it looks like Spain is trying to get some more Harkavisiers round the back of the uh, the French line here. The French are not having any of it, though. They're sending some of their caravaneers out there to try and close that avenue down. It looks like we've got more Croatian Harkavisiers moving out of here. I mean, it seems like all of a sudden a lot of these guys are being brought. I don't know why. Are they, like, that good? I don't know. They might be. They might not be. But uh, they have got another one in, way in behind here as well. Another Croatian Harkavis. Yeah, a battle of the Croatians, it seems. These guys are mightily important, it seems. Uh, yeah, we've got German mercenary races as well moving across. And uh, again, more Trillias here. Just, you know, pestering them as they advance for the uh, Spanish ones moving up their own Michelets, their own skirmishes here. We have to prepare for... Uh, their skirmish off, and it looks like uh, the dragoons over here. These guys pretty much act as uh, as infantry. Um, they are dismounted like cavalry, really. 
but they look like they could route pretty soon. Yeah, it does look like, again, no infantry getting really, like, moved forward just yet. The Spanish are actually going in the wrong direction as they march back towards friendly lines. Maybe they're not quite ready. Maybe they've had the call that this is not the place they're going to attack. It's, in fact, going to be somewhere else. But, yes, if you want to send in your own uh, pike and shot battles, this was sent in by a sub. Uh, to my Discord, then the best place to send them in is my Discord. Link is down below in the description. As always, guys, very much uh, appreciated for sending them in. It, like, I can't do the, this sort of, like, replays without you guys. Like, the amount of content you guys send in is amazing. And yeah, if you want to send any of your own, or you uh, feel free to uh, send it into my Discord. And if you haven't joined already, I want to send some in. You know what to do. Musketeers of the Guard, getting ready. These guys, you know, like the D'Artagnans and the... Um, uh, um, Athos is in all the other. I can't remember the other two actually off the top of my head, but yeah, they're the they're the main the main uh, musketeers that you see sort of like in all the shows, the movies about the musketeers. The main little gendarmes. These guys look pretty armored up, almost like um, cuirassiers themselves. Very very armored. A lot of stakes being put down, but it really does narrow the battlefield. I feel like for Cav quite often, often forces it wide as the stakes go down in the centre here. Um, but also, you've got to remember, like, Pikes, they're a literal moving uh, stake unit. Uh, and these guys, obviously, are there to counter the cavalry. I mean, so can the, um, so can the Musketeers, really. I mean, they have 180 men, and they're going up against 80 uh, riders. And certainly, I'd say that the uh, the cavalry is less accurate. It looks like already some uh, Miklet's there getting routed. It looks like by uh, German mercenary Musketeers. Look at that, the Germans fighting on both sides in this one. They just they love the cash. They can't get enough of it. They'll fight for both sides. I mean, absolutely huge French cavalry wing here moving. I mean, this has got to be, well, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's 12 units of cav there. And then the general, Ludier Bourbon, the uh, um, Count of Sassoins. So got these 12 pounders as well trying to get into position. Well, I don't know. They might be forgotten about, actually. Um, but yeah, they are trying to, uh, I guess, wheel them forward. Four pounders here as well coming forward. The artillery is actually pretty nasty. Impike and shot as well, so definitely need to be careful of uh, that when massing up your infantry. And there you go, Mercer Dragoons have been routed by the Michaelettes, and it looks like Cab over here as well, Mercer Uratius. And they're just getting shot by, yeah, Musketeers. But they're also wavering here, are the, uh, the Spanish Cav. They uh, have got their backs turned. That's probably why they're getting uh, beaten in this in this line fight, because they're not even shooting in the right direction. Yep, Spain looks like they're going to play on the defensive. By the looks of it, it doesn't look like they're really in any great rush to come forward. But France also is uh, looking pretty similar in a, a very defensive sort of layback style. They're quite happy just to... I think they want to deal with the cab behind them first and then they will uh, think about going forwards, which I don't blame them. I think certainly it looks like the French have more cab. It certainly seems that's the way. I think the cab on the, in the center, all those 12 carry units we saw earlier, I think they're being shifted this direction in a reaction to all this cab here that's massing. I mean, we've got a lot of Metratias, and we've got Curassias here in Florence. And we've got a Mikulet there routing. So yeah, the uh, skirmish fight, uh, and they certainly seem to be going in favor of France here in this early sort of stage. But yeah, I think I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna make another uh, sort of cut. I thought maybe it was gonna spice up with the Spanish pushing their, uh, their flanks on the cab. Uh, pretty, pretty high up. I thought maybe they were going to maybe go in, but it seems that it's not gonna be the case. And uh, yeah, I will see you in a moment again, it seems, once the uh, battle is a little bit more intense. Still waiting to see what these Croatian Harkibisias do. Doesn't look like too much just yet. So I'll see you guys in a mo. So we are back, and the French are moving forward on this left flank here, and they are uh, looking like they're going to start making a big, big push now against the uh, the Spanish. They've got a lot of an ambush, infantry here an moving forward. There's an ambush going on. Is there? Oh, there is. Oh, like, there's Spanish Michelets just, like, waiting here. There's actually quite a lot of them as well. I mean, I guess it's not really the, like, the end of the world, but, I mean, that is unexpected for the French. I guess they can just charge them, get rid of them. It looks like there's been a little bit of a fight going on on this side over here. Actually, looks like the, uh, oh, it looks like there's been a bit of a cab fight. Looks like France maybe came out on top on that one. Uh, oh, what have we got here? Guards, uh, oh, we've got the guard Arquebusiers. They're still alive. Very good to see, but yeah, it looks like a lot of other troops here around uh, Germany, most Ratias. Um, yeah, it looks like quite a few um, units of races are routed for the uh, Spanish. They try to give it a go. And it looks like they're actually going to uh, be, be caught in the back lines. It looks like these uh, Croatian Harkovicius are causing uh, quite a bit of an issue. Um, one of the uh, French ones is routed. It's Croatians versus Croatians. It's a sad day for the Croats. 
And uh, yeah, as you can see, the uh, French have just run over the Mikolets here. They are just getting rid of these guys. Nothing too scary or exciting to see there. But yeah, the Chile is clearing out the skirmishes. Very good start. And now they can zero the skirmishes to sort of shield the advance. And um, we've got Lombard, Mr. Sears here. Various other nasty looking Spanish units ready and waiting. They're looking to try and change history here. And we'll see whether they can do it. But yeah, the French everywhere else seem like they're going to be quite passive. But the left certainly seems like it's going to be the most aggressive here for the French. They're looking to move it forward. We got some Swiss Musketeers here. These guys look awesome. I do like this unit. One of my favorite looking uh, French units, I think, along with the... Um, I think also probably like the uh, the guard musketeers also like uh, look pretty good as well. And then it looks like uh, we've got champagne uh, pikes and the various other use Italian mercenary musketeers. I mean, it's just the age of musketeers. Uh, sorry, of uh, mercenaries is this. I mean, it's also the age of musketeers. I mean, this is why we're playing the pi uh, why it's called pike and shot. But uh, yeah, very much the age of mercenaries. Which most of the armies it seems are made up of them. And yeah, it looks like France, having been victorious on that right flank there with the Cav, it looks like Spain's being quite passive. Where the f I mean, France definitely has enough Cav, actually, to win another Cav fight. All, the, all these 12 units of cavalry have now arrived over here now, getting ready to deal with death. And uh, yeah, it looks like, I don't know, Spain might have won that fight with the Croatian Harkovices in the back. It's hard to say. I don't know if it's going to make much of a difference. I mean, they might be able to take out a general, but the generals are pretty strong in Pike and Shot. They're actually, you know, pretty tanky. Oh yeah, the line is already opening up. Excellent stuff. These are royal. Are they royal? I don't know. They might be. But yeah, the uh, line fight already getting away, and it looks like uh, I mean, I don't think anyone's really going to be taking too many casualties at this range. It's very long range what happens. I mean, I would probably get a bit closer if I was the French. Uh, they definitely seem like they outgun the Spanish. Uh, they've got the cannons of four pounds here. They're already blasting. They need to be careful not to hit their own Nicolette. But I don't think they really care. They're just going to take him out anyway. But yeah, at this range, no one's really going to be hitting anyone. I mean, like, these are smoothbore muskets, and they're pretty early versions of them. They, they are, yeah, going to be, their muskets are going to be flying out. And just, you know, right occasion. You'll be unlucky if you got hit by a musketball at this range. And it looks like one unlucky soul got a hit here, but yeah, be very, very unlucky. France looks like he's moving forward with the, uh, the cavalry. Lots of mercenary harquebusiers. And it also looks like some more Croatian harquebusiers and the gendarmes of the guard. Look, look at these guys. Oh, they look very, very cool. Like the officer, all in armor, head to toe, like a medieval knight. Yeah, I imagine the gendarmes of the guard could do some serious damage. I mean, the French can deny the, uh, the Spanish sending infantry out here to support uh, the cab fight, then uh, I think uh, the French cab here should overwhelm the Spanish. I mean, the Spanish have some decent uh, guard units here and also cuirassiers. I don't think they can win it. They've got. Cardinal Ferdinand of Austria over there trying to uh, rally the boys. Looks like we've got Diego Felipez uh, in the middle. Then we have another uh, Cardinal Infante, like uh, Ferdinand of Austria, over on that flank. Looks like maybe Spades could push forward here. He's got his guards. One of the another one of the best looking units in the game. Yeah, still waiting. See who's gonna blink first. Yeah, really firing at range, trying to, you know, soften these musketeers before the, uh, before the pikes really get stuck in. I mean, the pikes are dying. Second, I mean, imagine, again, imagine you being in the second row and you're hit by a musket ball. It'd be very unfortunate. Looks like these uh, Michelin's here nearly out. I mean, they're probably getting friendly fired or sort of but they are running right past their own, uh, their own infantry. Surely that's doing more damage than the enemy at this point. It looks like, again, it could be the uh, Spanish left. We'll see a lot more action soon. 
Looks like, uh, yeah, they're moving forward. The French certainly seem like they're a little bit thinner on the ground here. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of infantry actually uh, blocking any sort of advance. If they can get through this musketeer line here and amongst the pikes, I think they can definitely do a lot of damage to that French. Uh, we'll call it a right of center. But yeah, the Spanish left of center looking pretty strong. Very, very stacked. Obviously, it doesn't always go like that, but you know, numbers can't hurt. The artillery here just getting its angles and its, uh, its range just right. Preparados! And again, it looks like you're both sides just, you know, still waiting for someone to blink. There's just a long, long line fight getting underway. Just waiting for the plunge as someone decides to start this battle and get it into chaos. And I mean it, these battles get chaotic quickly. Yeah, it looks like we're just waiting for... Uh, I mean, actually, France is maybe making a bit of a mistake here. He's angling his line to try and shoot at this uh, Spanish force, but he might be inviting the Spanish here to uh, actually side-shot him and his German mercenaries. So just be careful of that. That is definitely a uh, potential mistake there. Again, I'm just still waiting for this to kick off first. This looks like it's going to be the first to get kick off. Actually, the guard musketeers being shifted forward. Yeah, I certainly think this is a mistake here by the uh, the French. If, they, if the Spanish had just even the one cav unit, they'd rush in, route these musketeers, and then try and really get in behind uh, the French forces and try and split them uh, with some cavs. When they bring up artillery, that could definitely cause some, uh, some issues. There's four pounders here, but we'll see. We will see. I'm really looking forward to more maps as well being added to this uh, this one. I mean, we are on the Rocroi map, I think. Uh, look at the star fall. It looks insane. Can't wait till we can do sort of like uh, Piking Shot Sieges as well. Uh, I mean, they could be a bit long-winded, but they can certainly be quite fun. I have a feeling Piking Shot Sieges, apart from like maybe the Siege of Vienna, very much more just sitting behind your wall and just waiting and seeing if you can starve out the other side. They, that map, this map and that sea, uh, that um, port look immense. They really do. The boys still waiting. The Spanish are coming forward here on this, uh, this left-hand side. They really fancy the chance. I mean, really, the French need to overwhelm the cab fight now, so now, and then really set uh, the Spanish back. I mean, trying to just relieve the uh, the French forces. Here. I mean, we've got literally like just a couple of trillions that are trying to hold back a lot of pikes and a lot of musketeers. I uh, don't see them doing it. So yeah, I mean, if the French can win a cab fight here soon rather than later, then uh, they could definitely force that French left back and uh, then give some relief to the French. Well, right of centre, centre, whatever you want to call it. France is advancing as well. Champagne Musketeers with the uh, Swiss Guards. These guys usually uh, guard on the Pope, but for some reason they're now here. Unless they, the French also have their own... Uh, They do look glorious, they do look glorious. Oh. Yeah, still waiting, I'm still waiting for that sort of melee attack to go in. The French routing over here for some reason. Is it the French or is it the Spanish? It might be a Michelet, I think, maybe. But there is this, a routing unit around here somewhere. Oh yeah, it's Michelet. And here we go! Spanish are wavering a little bit. These Lombard Arquebusiers, they all starting to waver. French actually winning this, uh, this line fight here. Whether they could turn this German musketeer here. I mean, they're side-shotting the Lombard Arkansas here. Turn this one. Start the side-shot over here and uh, turn that fight around in their favor. 
Oh, and the artillery is being absolutely focused down is the way to kill them. And also, they've run through their own infantry, which I think is the reason why they have been killed off. But uh, yeah, I mean, shooting um, artillery is the best way to kill it, not to a charge or anything else like that. And there we go. Cav is going in. Nice volley from the last second from the Croatian Arcadiciers. But it is not going to be enough. The uh, Caravaneers going in and routing those Croatians immediately. As this is a right by the red line, anything that routes is going straight over it and is out of the game. Yeah, France is now getting stuck on in. Uh, they need to be careful of the McLeods over here. There are also artillery pieces, the six pounds are moving up here. Were they wanting to uh, blast his, uh, his cab at close range? It might be the case. I mean, if I was the French, I'd just go in, see whether these cuirassiers want to tangle with uh, the Chevalier's and the uh, Musketeers of the Guard here. I'd give it a go, see what happens. Already some of these uh, Lombard Archibusiers on a route. And yeah. Sir, our general is the general's under attack. attack. I don't know whose that is. I think we're looking from the French perspective, so it'll be a French general. It must be just be like a musket ball flying by. I can't really see the French general apart from. Oh, there's Charles II over there, Delaporte. Uh, there was also a uh, Count of Sassoin somewhere, but uh, whether he suffered from lines now, I don't know. I can't see them. I might be just being blind. Yeah, look at this. The Spanish really coming forward. They're really going to try and push this. And they're running. They really feel like they're going to run to close this distance. I feel like this is going to tire them out. Like, energy and sort of like uh, that sort of thing is really important in a uh, Pike Shore game as well. We've got battalion staff trying to help with morale uh, as the Pikes rush forward. I mean, if they can get there, the Pike, then they can definitely route a lot of these Musketeers if they, uh, the Musketeers decide to stand and fight themselves. Some of the French cab over here, the Chevalier Goes, are routed. And actually, the French are going in hard here on the right hand side. The uh, Sully Cuirassiers going in. It's armored men, looks like they're taking on Cuirassiers? Uh, sorry, uh, Archivistiers, sorry. Of oh, the Spanish. Cuirassiers against Archivistiers. It's not a fair fight, really. It's not a fair fight. French should win this, obviously. They are melee experts, those Cuirassiers. You see, I mean, a decent charge here. More. Oh. Uh, Sully Cuirassiers going in. Going in against Cuirassiers though themselves. And yeah, that looks like that has actually caused these guys to, uh, to ramp them quickly. Oh, we actually do have a Louis de Bourbon, a Prince of Con in the action straight away. Incredible stuff. Risking the general early on. I thought he might be like, oh, it's just a guy getting like shot. Uh, like a general getting shot by a musket ball. No, he is a general that is fully stuck in. That is what is uh, causing the announcement. Again, yeah, the cab getting stuck in. I thought it's even going to be the French left or the French right that really got this fight going. The overwhelming cab is certainly just too good for the French to ignore. I mean, they still got some main build of gendarmes. The guard, they've still got some good units to go in. More silly cuirassiers. All that 2v1 in. Uh, the Spanish cuirassiers on this side here. It's a mess of armor, man, and horse in here. And I can see some T posing. I think that's Spaniards going to do I mean, you can barely tell who is who down there in that sort of mess of a fight. But it looks like the, uh, I don't know, the unit losing combat even. I think maybe the uh, Spanish are winning that fight ever so slightly. But uh, we'll see. Uh, the French generally look like they are winning the, the entire sort of cab fight here. Though. They are flanking the Musketeers of the Guard. And I think they're going to try and get a side shot off here into some uh, Curacias of Florence. <laughs> Who themselves are first going to get a volley off into the Musketeers of the Guard. Where the main? There we go. Nice volley. Actually causes these Cuirassiers to immediately start to waver, and uh, they might round pretty quickly here. We'll see. Yeah, the main build gendarmes. Uh, you got some solid units left that can go in. And more Harkin this year. More uh, sort of like range units. So they're going to try and get really close and then get a volley off those radios. Try and get the jump on them. Spain is losing a few infantry units here. Looks like the uh, Pike units they routed these guys have shattered. Apparently this isn't like a, a bug for the replay, it's just a bug for, uh, for Shogun. Someone's excited to me in a recent replay. Uh, so I, it's good to know. That is good to know that that's uh, not like a bug with the replay. It's just uh, Shogun being really silly. And uh, looks like these four pounders here. Could be about a route as well. Could be a big asset gone, but the left 
We're looking all quiet right now as the, yeah, the French right, really, really aggressive push right now. And it's really throwing off the Spanish cab. I would be surprised as much of it's going to get out of here alive. Yeah, these uh, Gracias here, they're going to get charged from two sides. Uh, Sully Gracias is going in, and probably Tarko this year is my charge as well. Oh, shoot. One or the other. Recuerden su honor, soldados. Resistan. Spain trying to, you know, steady the line, and they might actually help a little bit with this routing. Uh, Sully Gracia here, that's routing, but still losing some of their own uh, occupancies there. And it certainly seems like the, the French cab on this right here is, is going to win. That is devastating to see. You're rooting for the Spanish, is. You're rooting for the French. You're probably loving this right now. You hear the tunes play. It's generally stuck in. They need like a rear charge to make sure these, these guys stay dead. I mean, Louis de Bourbon still in his lost six bodyguards. If that's the same one, unless there's another Louis de Bourbon. Oh, there might be actually. Yeah, this one's down to 20, so there's two generals here. Probably why they've helped with morale boosts. And so the cab fights have probably really helped out a lot. I do apologize, by the way, if I do sound, if my voice sounds a little off. It's because I am actually a little bit ill. I'm, uh, like, yeah, suffering from a little, uh, a little bit of a cold. So, yeah, my uh, voice is a little bit off that. That's all it is. It's nothing, uh, nothing else. No new mic or anything like that. We've got guard Archibisius from the Spanish. Coming really, really close. And they're going to get a volley in the face. Actually, it looks like some other Archibisius might have taken most of those shots there. But, yeah, the French getting really close. Uh, with their with their pikes and their musketeers, I mean Spanish rules it is getting it. The French not giving any ground. They're like, well, screw it. If you want to be this close? We'll shoot each other this close. I've got pikes to help me out, and he does. I would have said that the musketeers. I mean, since they outgun these uh, these musketeers, they should win that fight. But we'll see. Go back to the right flank over here. It's all going on over here. But all the action. The men is. are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. Looks like uh, Ferdinand of Austria is trying to get himself out of there. I think he maybe had a, a, an idea of joining his cab fight, maybe trying to rally his troops and, you know, do a similar sort of inspire like the French generals did, but it looks like he's changed his mind. And he's running for the hill. And he's worn off of his men, who are also running here. You can see we've got uh, lots of archivists here falling back. Falling back, trying to get around. Do you now have some guard pikes here and some more guard musketeers? So these guys might be able to uh, help out a little bit, but they could easily just also get overwhelmed and outflanked. It looks like maybe they're going to give ground. Yep, looks like they are getting out of here. They've had orders from Ferdinand, and they're like, yeah, just get out of here. There's too many French cabs. We can't hold it. The French, yeah, they just need to keep their foot down on the uh, Spanish throat and really just, you know, don't let them reset, don't let them reorganize. The game's yours, I'd say. If they keep pushing that side, I mean, eventually that left flank there, you can already see it's starting to do it. It's falling in on more of the center or left of center of the Spanish forces here. And all of a sudden, gaps will start to appear and rear charges will the start to happen. The men are and must rest Yeah, a lot of these infantry heralds are starting to, uh, to get gunned down after this year's uh, and Musketeers here starting to uh, get routed, looks like, by Italian mercenaries. It does seem like the French are winning his line fight a little bit. Yeah, well done to the French. First blood really to them. Absolutely. I'll just to help with rear charge like that. Yeah, that's going to really help just route those races. I think that's actually got rid of them. They are shattered, yeah. They ain't coming back. Looks like, oh, here we go. Yeah, I was going to say, look at those Croatian Harkonnesians. They were victorious for the Spanish. Are recharging the Atreus and they're already routing. They might take the Atreus with them, but I think they're going to also have themselves killed here. Uh, or maybe not. I mean, they kind of went through the stakes. There you go, the Croatians managed to round those Atreus. And it's about as much as they expected they could do, really. Didn't think they'd be able to do much more than that.
Yeah, now I would say for the French, it's now time to make pressure on this left flank here uh, of theirs. Uh, although uh, Spanish right really pushed back the uh, the Spanish here. I don't think they have enough cap here either to deal with uh, the horde of French cap that's still waiting here. And that would be my next target. Really trying to swing in on the Spanish. Multiple sides. That's their micro. See how good it is. Yeah, the French really... I think they're running down these Spanish, just making sure they stay gone. Not a bad idea. Units should be bike shot. At least you turn once or twice. Or well, they can do it anyway. What makes battles quite long. Yeah, it looks like uh, Louis de Bourbon here. He's exhausted. He's, you know, making sure these guys stay gone. He's running down every last damn Spaniard. And it looks like we're going to see the uh, the guard unit here. They go, or the guard units, I should say. They're going to sort of try and defend this rear line here. I mean, the Spanish look in good, in good sort of... Uh, they look in a good shape. To advance forward and just blow these, uh, these French units away. Now with the cabin behind, it's going to be quite hard just to blow these guys away. I mean, they definitely still can. Look at the... Uh, Musketeers here for France, they are getting gunned down. We've already lost a whole unit here as well. Oh dear. Yeah, they are. They're struggling. They are bleeding. We had a 3v3. It's getting pretty spicy, that's for sure. More shots going off. German Musketeer is getting hit hard there. I'm just kind of hoping someone's going to go in, going to go really uh, like throw it in. I mean, uh, oh, the Spanish has getting a good volley off there with their artillery, hitting a lot of those French units that they sort of crossed over each other. Where the French could maybe make it go a bit against the Spanish force, they really push hard here and then split the, uh, the Spanish forces, almost cut these guys off from retreating. That's what I probably do. Yeah, they're waiting patiently. Look at the French, you know, throwing back the Spanish a little bit. They're like, yeah, we, we've got to, we've got to sort of turtle up and uh, see what we can do next. I mean, the Spanish low on cav on this flank here, I and mean, they literally have third and that. I think is their only cav unit. There's a couple of re rallies, arquebusiers. Looks like it scattered around, but nothing uh, too scary. Still waiting for that French left to go in. Here we go, armed Spanish gonna go and it looks like it. At least they're bringing up the Archivist here again and they're gonna probably just get another volley off the point like right. Start blasting them boys. For the guard, the spade. When you're ready. Oh, or are they gonna go in? They did get their swords out for a second, I thought they were going to do it, but they did not. They actually did do a decent volley there. Really reducing this unit. Actually routing that French unit there very nice. Really, really nice there from the Spanish. That's uh, the sort of volleys they're going to need. The game still hangs very much in the balance. It's still slightly in favour of uh, one side. I think that might be the... Uh, French, I think, maybe. I don't expect so after that cab fight. It doesn't look like they're really sort of in any sort of move to really push it forward either. They are quite happy to hang back and just, you know, see whether the Spanish make another move to move forward. It looks like they're actually going to move sideways or close up their lines, which is probably a good idea, to be honest. They uh, are stretched certainly a bit more in the center, where we see that the French are winning these uh, some of these key fights, especially over here. Right's looking really stacked though. And 
again. Spanish and the French, they're just, you know, they're just standing looking at each other, trying to blast each other. It's crying out, really is, for this, uh, this camp fight to get underway. I was thinking, oh, the French are supposed to camp. I mean, they have, it's some, uh, uh, Croatian uh, Archibusiers, they've shifted forward, I think that's to stop any more uh, volleys from the Archibusiers of the uh, Spanish. Spanish, really out of ideas on this left flank. Really out of ideas. I think I'm just going to fast forward over to slightly see whether anything else progresses. Because, uh, yeah, right now it's just a big long line Our fight. It's not really running, much to commentate on. Just waiting to see whether the, uh, the French make a move. It looks like some action with the cab. Oh, actually, the French have lost the Harker this year. That is surprising. Against uh, the Spanish Harker this year as well. A weakened one. I mean, that's a bit of a win, I guess. Yeah, not really like too much uh, too much to report about there. And here we go, the Spanish cab. Shift forward. Now would be the time if I was the French to yeah, send your cab to the flank. Start to rally these guys. Start to just, you know, clear them up. It looks like some of the uh, Lombard Musketeers are losing this fight as well. I mean, also, I mean, if you're uh, these Croatian Harkovicius, you could just charge these Lombard um, Musketeers. They're not supported by any pikes and they haven't got any uh, cab support either and they have no stakes to sort of block uh, any sort of cab charge. That would be a great unit to charge and then who knows, you could get in behind, cause a bit of issue. Could be uh, an, an opportunity. You never know. An opportunity that could certainly be even more open if the French cab can win this fight. I mean, overwhelmingly, in numbers of units, they should win. Whether they will, I don't know. Preparados. Still waiting for a bit of movement. Still waiting. Oh, and here we go. The Spanish have managed to sneak in behind. Have managed to get some Harkavisiers. These Gracias here have managed to uh, hit these uh, Harkavisiers of the uh, French, the Croatian one. And the pikes are being activated. And uh, there's a little cheeky little move there by the uh, Gracias. Didn't seem to achieve a lot, but you know, they've got rid of the Croatians. So I think they're now going to volley these, uh, these pikes right in the face. Our men are running, sir. Yeah, as expected, but the pikes are going to respond, and they're going to start piking away. Uh, to no real avail, but it's the thought that counts, and the Croatian, uh, the Croatians, are going to chase after them. See these uh, grasses? They're not looking so happy because they're running away. They're getting ten cut down, so that's what's doing damage to their morale. They're redlining already. Croatians easy to identify them, much more Eastern European style of well, outfit, I was gonna say. There you go, looks like they are getting stuck on in. Looks like a Lance is coming in now, they're trying to get a side charge into the Pikes, they might have done it a little bit. Uh, whether the yeah, Pikes take advantage and start to kebab the, the kebabbing cow. Lancers here, pretty solid unit. I mean, they haven't looked like for uh, the, like the guard lancers. Our men are running. At first, so the French could be relieved there. But yeah, so these lancer Leguros, they're still very, very good. So the pikes get their pikes out again. Yeah, I think they're trying to give ground so they can maybe uh, 
know to get a better angle with the uh, with the pikes. And yeah, as you can see here, I mean, it's looking like we're going to see very shortly a sandwich of forces. The French, I think, are just freshening up their cav, getting it ready, and looking for an opportunity. I mean, Spain has turned a lot of infantry around just to face off this way. I mean, if, if I was France, I'd go in this side first, see if then the uh, Spanish rear guard will get weakened and then go in with the French cav. Or just ignore it and go down the line and go after something else. That would also be an option. See whether any of the other players have the uh, break cells to form a rear guard. Again, this cap fight's looking at the way the, uh, the rate is here actually in second as well to help these Croatian archivistiers. It looks like they're out of one. Curacia, they might get a second. There you go, Spain's gonna manage to get out of there alive. And uh, it's more like France is gonna get its archivistiers out of here. The Croatians might have over overdone it. Nice volley there from the guard Archivisiers and I think that uh, has routed those, uh, those Frenchies nice and quickly. We'll see them going back to Paris very shortly. Yeah, France really moving forward. I mean, if they can just keep pushing here a little bit, fully encircle the Spanish army and have that wiped off the map. But yeah, there's literally two units stopping these guys, blocking them from any sort of success here. And then once that's happened, these guys just swing in and deal with them. what happens. Yeah, these battles are long. So I hope you guys got some yourselves some snacks, got yourselves some drinks. But it does look like it's getting a little bit more spicy now as we have Tercios moving forward and it looks like the French cab is coming into play as well. And we have actually got uh, Champagne Pikes being stuck in. They're fighting some of the Musketeers down here. The Lancers are getting stuck in as well for the Spanish. And they're side charging. I mean, I think they're trying to, you know, break these pikes. They might do it, you know. There's a lot of feminism to go on in these uh, in these pike shot games. I don't know if that's allowed or what, what's okay and what's not. It just seems like there's a lot of feminism that takes place. Pikes fighting in the shrubbery over here. Can't really too much that's going on. But the uh, French ones look a lot more armored. Really now we're seeing the pike part of the pike and shock uh, era. It's good to see. Yeah, Spain's sending forward some of his own pikes. I think we're going to see a flank here from the uh, small champagne pikes into the side here. It uh, looks like they're fighting off against some battalion staff. Looks like German musketeers are trying to shoot them point by range. It's not a bad little strategy. Artillery here is absolutely pounding. Oh my gosh, yeah, absolutely brutal. Yeah, the guards here, they need to be uh, they need to be careful. They, they're kind of responsible for holding this flank now. I mean, look at that. They have three shots going all the way through the front lines, and it's in the back lines where the guards, are, the small guards are. Incredible stuff. But it's starting to get a little messy. As I said, this game always does. There you go, point blank shots into this fight. They're very tired, concerned. They might route here, you know. Oh, and the French cab's gone in. This is what we wanted to see. The left flank now has the chance to do what the right flank did for the French cab. Let's continue the guard here. There's a general in here, Cardinal uh, of. Well, sorry, well, Ferdinand of Austria, and it looks like, look at that, the French have smashed their way through, they've routed a couple of units of uh, guard arquebusiers, and it looks like uh, so maybe some other units in there as well, and they've yeah, managed to get their way through, and now they can just smash them through, 
Champagne Pike's doing a bit here. They can move down the line if they want to. I think in a moment we're going to... Yeah, Spain actually looks like he's making a bit of an all-out attack on a few other fronts. Look at this. The guard pikemen are going in. They're going to get shot at from the front. Looks like the sides as well. Maybe it'll like stab from the sides. Oh no, they changed direction. They're going to get a shot on the side instead. That is unfortunate for these guys. It's very expensive hiking, I'm sure it is. Still fighting in the front lines. Still dying in the front lines. And yeah, with a... Uh, Look at this. Our I mean, men are running. These French uh, pikemen just mopping up some units here. Lombard Musketeers next on the list. They might get uh, a volley off here on the uh, Champagne Pikes. We'll see. But yeah, the French cab having dealt a, a pretty nasty blow. And it looks like also uh, the general here has routed for uh, the Spanish on this side here. That is going to be costly. And we might see a collapse of this Spanish line very shortly. France actually looks like he took a lot of losses here. He's formed up to uh, deal with that guard pikeman, and you can see here, you know, it is. You know, a really good shot since the side of them, and now the uh, guard pikeman, they can fight unmolested. The combat even. And now I'm, just, I'm waiting for the French camp to descend on this fight here. They can do that. It might be GG for this army. I mean, this, uh, yeah, these Lombard Archivistiers here, I charge them immediately. Get rid of them. Get into some of these other soft spots where there's just Archivistiers. Do as much damage there as possible. The right flank for the, uh, well, the, sorry, the left flank for the uh, for the French as well, but they cap there doing a uh, decent work. Looks like they are mass running a lot of these Spanish troops here. With the loss of the general, yeah, it's causing all sorts of problems here for the Spanish. The guard just mass routing. Not looking good at all. Our men uh, are running, sir. Here we go. French cab going in. And in go the mercy hucks this year's side shot as they support the pike. Uh, sorry, side charge to support the, uh, the pike. Really nice, really nice. So they're going to rally those guys immediately. Now they need to get into the backs of these, uh, these Spaniards here. Because the Spanish are winning this fight here. The, uh, yeah, look at that. They are literally rear shotting Frenchmen. How have they allowed this to happen, France? So the cab is getting in amongst the, uh, the Spaniards now. The charging guard was the And also, there's guard pikemen in here. They can get that other general. I think Ferdinand, yeah, he's very safe, though. If you get Ferdinand, then uh, that would be uh, another mass route. I think this is majority of his infantry army is looking very much intact but it is starting to route in a fair few places here and that's actually a mass route across this entire Spanish front here that is catastrophic for the Spanish cause and it looks like the uh, the French here are going to be victorious at Recroy I mean, because I mean even if the French lose that fight on the right there's so many more Frenchmen on their way but I, I think army losses will come into it Pike and Shot will seem to have quite a lot of effects for army losses We'll see though. I mean, there's a lot of units here that just recently won a, um, a fight with pipes. And they're now just getting uh, routed. So it doesn't seem like it's going to take too much to route these Spaniards. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Now it's just a matter of time. We'll just fast forward a little bit here as we wait for the uh, Our men French are to running, sort of descend. Sir. And uh, yeah, it looks like it. in they go. On that flank there, yeah. French cab going in. Sumi Gracias. Flanking on in. Imagine these units routing through the Spanish. They're probably also doing a lot of morale damage, but I could be wrong. Good shots here. Looks like from more musketeers. The guard trying to side shot stuff. They routed uh, Michelet here. Whether that will influence other units, I don't know. The Pikes are fighting against the Cavs still. Yeah, if I was the French infantry here, I'd, just, I'd start to go all in. Just go all in. 
French Cav, if it's uh, dealt with, can do a really good job. Oh, who's that? Diego Felipe is just going in. He's routing already. The sheer sight of Louis Bourbon here. Very nice. They will sing songs of Louis Bourbon here. His glorious army. Yeah, we're just kind of waiting for the, uh, the French to make the death blow. Uh, I don't think they're going to wait for their allies. I imagine they're just going to go straight on in. I mean, if I was the Spanish, just go in. Just, you know, just end this battle. I mean, I guess you want to try and get as many kills as possible. But, uh, yeah, certainly would be uh, advisable just to Our men are running, sir. Do what they... Uh, just try and get the battle over and done with. Get the battle over and done with. Send in your boys. I hope you guys did enjoy this battle. It seems like, uh, yeah, it's a historic battle. It took a little while. Uh, this is, the, I guess, the only downside of the fact that they're not fast-paced for Shogun 2 games, but uh, my gosh, they big. What's that, that pike unit? The guards? Where's pike in here? Never seen these guys ever. Before. The guards the pike. The wave are They're shaking, but not stirred. They're going in against, looks like, just some standard pikes here. Again, the French Cav just going on in. It's advantage they've been cavalry really coming in handy. If you just squash a load of these uh, arquebusiers and musketeers. And yeah, the French Cav still in behind here as well. They just need to get these main built gendarmes rear charge. Anything and everything over here. And we should see a mass route from the Spanish on the floor very soon. With a couple of rear charges. Yeah, the Swiss guardsmen holding on. They're getting side shots so much. There you go. A couple more units on a route. The old hammer and anvil. It works in just about any total war. Maybe these guys will arrive in time. It seems like this French player is kind of throwing the bag a little bit. There you go. More units on a route. And it looks like more of these units starting to be uh, killed off. Our men are running, sir. There you go, the Spanish capitulate by the looks of it. Well, uh, I don't know. I'd say they look the Alton Bar. They get some pretty nasty cab, uh, cannon shots at them. I think that's actually hurting. Uh, Cardinal, but actually it's like a lot of the French cabs starting to route the uh, cuirassiers. A lot of these uh, gendarmes starting to be weakened up. Maybe the Spanish step a little bit in them. And you can see the uh, the Spanish mopping these guys up. We're just going to fast forward again as we just wait for the... Uh, Wait for the French. We have to, killed uh, their general, sir. Uh, general now they killed? must break. Well, I presume that's this one, but I don't know. He looks like he's still pretty healthy. I don't surely he's not dead. And also, I would have thought we would have seen a mass shot. Maybe it's Diego Lopez or whatever his name was that also got killed. Could be wrong, or maybe we're going to see. I don't know. Looks like uh, Ferdinand here kind of got left behind or purposely left behind. And they're going to get him killed. I think this is going to cause a mass shot here. Maybe it might be the Spanish player giving in. I think a little bit. Uh, he is losing decisively. His pike, I mean the pikemen here at the Swiss Guards. They should do a lot of damage. Uh, no, he is going to pull him out. He's not going to give in that easily. We'll go back to fast forward. And yeah, the other French players might actually get a, a little bite of the apple here because they are starting to arrive. As you can see, uh, they might be able to uh, do some damage. But I mean, if the French Cav here, I would have thought, charges in. Uh, oh, we have moved way over to the other corner. The of men the map. Are I do apologize. There we go. Rest a while. I was going to say, if the French cab just charged in here, I feel like they just sandwiched from two sides. They're just mass route these guys. That should cause a mass route for the rest of the players. Oh, my God. 
Here we go. Looks like we're going to see a last stand here. I thought they honestly would have gone a lot earlier than they have. But he's managed, you know, they put up a good fight. But I thought now, yeah, if the, uh, the Huckabee series rear charge, his bikes and his just you should just rally these guys. We uh, re rally after this season here, but yeah. Still, they hold on the Swift Musketeers. Yeah, not giving in. I mean, I just charge. Side charge, rear charge, do whatever charge you need to do. You gotta rally these Spaniards. They're so tightly bunched. Jesus, poor Pike, man. They're getting thin pretty hard. Oh, that is brutal. No wonder they're losing decisively. Yeah, we'll uh, just quickly fast forward a little bit more. And we'll see whether... We'll see whether the uh, the Spanish can survive. Actually, are they going to survive this initial assault? Seriously? They honestly just don't know where to go down. They do not know where to, uh, to call it. Uh, there's 11 men left to Ferdinand's uh, bodyguard. If they get any of those 11, I think they might get the uh, the kill here. Let's see, I think, honestly, that is what they're trying to go for. Again, the, the French cab going on in. And again, the musketeers of the uh, the Spanish refuse to give in. The silly Gracias actually are routing, and they got a side charge off themselves. That is ridiculous. Just France charge in with these guys. The rip. They just hit these four, hit these guardsmen in the back. I mean, looks like they are actually, yeah, the Spanish guards rather the Swiss guards. Seriously, is Spain going, I, I mean, Spain is not going to win this. Balance power, it's just they cannot win this. So Spain might, you know, prolong his suffering. Again, we're going to fast forward. Just, you know, keep seeing if, uh, if anything really happens. Looks like, again, the Spanish... Just refuse to give in. They refuse to give in. Just send Ferdinand and get him killed. Get him killed. I mean, this Spain player, respect him not giving in, but at the same time, my gosh. There's only so much you can do against such reckless hate, against such reckless Frenchmen. As the Royal Pikes come forward here. I mean, it's, it's crazy that like so much of the Spanish army over here just mass routed because of a loss of a general. But only one of the generals was lost. And then the rest of this small Spanish force here is not routed. And there you go. I think finally, finally, these Spanish see that defeat is inevitable and are going to rout. My gosh, yeah. Ferdinand's finally routed. But it's seriously, what all it took me barely surrounded them that time. That is crazy. That is crazy. And there you go. That is the Battle of Recroy here today, guys. Uh, so we'll end the battle. And uh, yeah, we'll quickly have a look at the end results and see what is going on. Yeah, we're just waiting to see whether uh, we're going to get any nice any nice kills. I mean, we've got some big kills, I would have thought. Big, big kills. Yeah, this was only by Itchy Left. No, he was playing as uh, one of the French players. Thank you very much. Uh, Panzer Grenadier and Jonathan also getting uh, the victory there for their side. Uh, unfortunate and condolence to Danilo and Lord Lork and uh, Examonot. They had a good game. But yeah, here are the kills. I'm going to just show them. I mean, Itchy got 319 kills with one of his... Uh, pikes, and then we've got uh, Danilo with 160 kills with the Musketeers. That's the top unit. Lord Lork 165 kills with his uh, Musketeers. Jonathan getting 228, uh, 288 kills with some Harkabissiers. Croatian Harkabissiers getting 283. Some more Carabineers, they're getting 283. 
Hans Grandeur, 326 kills with Swiss Pikes, 100, 319 kills with some um, uh, Piedmont Pikes. Examinot, uh, getting 108 kills with one of his Pikes uh, there. And there are all the kills there, guys. We're going to have a look at those. But thank you very much for watching. Certainly it was a fun historical battle. And yeah, I look forward to doing a few more uh, Pike and Troy historical battles. But until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.